Have you ever had actor nightmares? Like you forget your lines or something like that? Anything. Yeah. Yeah. I had <laughs> I had the most vivid all night long actor nightmares that the show I'm in. Uh-huh. It was time to do the show and everything was changed. It was now no longer a four person show. It was a full ensemble cast. <laughs> there were things that my main character was having to do, like ride a bicycle and do a full face plant into grass and get hair in your head without me ever having rehearsed it. <laughs> I got so freaked out. I pooped in a van on the way to the, 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 the show and I woke up screaming. <laughs> Actor nightmares. <laughs> wow. Did you poop in your bed? Yep, yeah. Yeah, I wow. did. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid direction, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Rubba, Juicy Rubba, Content. Rubba. Thank you, Rudy Sports on Patreon. Follow the Twitter account and subscribe like button. And today, we're doing a movie review. You have, uh, and this is uh, not an Indian movie. Per se. Per se. It is about Indians. With Indians yes, in it. In it, but Hollywood movie. Correct. Need that to be very specified. But um, you'll know why we're doing this for a million reasons. But um, we are reviewing the new 2024 directorial debut of Dev Patel. Correct. Monkey Man. <laughs> Monkey man, monkey man, look he out, here he monkey, comes. He's monkey man, from the trees, monkey man, he has posable thumbs. Monkey man, Hanuman, monkey man, Hanuman, he's gonna get you now. Monkey man, monkey man, monkey man, monkey man. And that's the theme song for it. That's that's actually straight out of the opening credits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we uh, sent that to Dev Patel, and he, he agreed. Uh, was like, this is better than anything I could have ever come up with. So, yes, and he's asked us to score every film he ever does from now on. <laughs> But My wife is here, <laughs> being her lovely self. Okay. Uh, yes, so do we are doing a movie review of Monkey Man, and this will be primarily non-spoiler. Yeah, we'll we, let you know when the spoils are yeah, coming. Yeah, because obviously it's not even out yet. We got uh, invited graciously by Universal Pictures um, to go watch the premiere in Los Angeles with yeah. and if. Uh, every every Indian influ Instagram influencer. Yeah. If you want to see the, on both of our Instagrams, there's a lot of different things on there from when we were at the event last night. Um, and we got, and this what we we got these last night. Yeah, a little small, but um, we got to meet some cool people. You can go check out on Instagram. Um, but uh, yeah, so if it's, I believe it comes out this weekend. It does. Um, for you in America. It does not come out this weekend for you in India. Um, but hopefully at some point it will be released for you guys. Um, anyways, so Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts of The Monkey Man. Or Monkey Man, sorry, not yeah. The Monkey Man. Monkey Man. Um, so I would have written a paragraph. Mm -hmm, yes. But just time didn't allot for that late night last night, early start. So I will try to, off the top of my head, give you my paragraph. Um, while I was sitting in the theater watching the film, there was a point during the film where I thought, holy crap, kids, Dev Patel has something to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I've always enjoyed Dev as an actor. I've really enjoyed everything I've seen him done. Um, this made it really clear to me that the man is an artist who is very passionate. This is, Did this you see is his film last year. Uh, which one? Um, the green no i did not see okay. that Very i did not good. see that was it? it yeah um he clearly this is a passion project for him if you know anything about it and it's obvious from what you see on the screen this is what i was hoping animal was going to be mm -hmm. yeah. um in a world where the most recent incarnation of the action genre at its peak is john wick this holds its own as its own action film with really wonderful fight choreography that bespeaks the title with an animalism that is really off the charts. The cinematography is spectacular. And ultimately for me, the biggest takeaway from this was he has an amazing story to tell that is very personal. It's pretty profound. And you probably won't see it in India. You won't see it the way he intended to. He has a very, he and the producers have a really difficult decision to make, especially him, because he's going to have to decide how much of this he's going to allow the censor board to change, yeah. if any. 
and I wanted to, I I was I wanted to tell him this last night, but he was too busy, and he left early. I know you need to make the money on the film, and it's a huge market. At the same time, don't change your film. Yep. That's what I have to say. Um, but you hated it. I loved it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I I I, 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 I I loved it. It, it 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 met my expectations, and my expectations were really high. Yeah. Um, obviously, we had reacted to the trailer, and we were really looking forward to it. Um, and we saw uh, in the trailer, but then we forgot because <laughs> she showed up right in front of us. Uh, that uh, Sor Sor Shorbita. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shorbita was in along with many other. Uh, yeah, Indian we'll keep. Actors. We'll save that for the spoilers because yes. there's some nifty little surprises. Some great surprises that we'll talk about in the spoilers. Um, that uh, is absolutely wonderful. But yeah, the the film was really really nice um really really enjoyed it um and i think they i don't know if it was an inspiration or after they made it they're like people are going to make this comparison to john wick it's not a story like john wick not in terms of like an assassin and stuff like that action style it is much less headshots uh, it's, it's yeah it's definitely it, yeah it's you have to compare it because right now john wick is the bar of action standards in yeah, hollywood yeah, yeah. And but in terms of the action that it brings oh, and the so style good. of it, it's that, and it's with up a notch because I think it's more brutal. It is more brutal uh, with some because of the, it's more personal. Which is it, what it, we it, when Rick said that's what we wanted from Animal. We're talking about the the um, the violence of it and and the, the story, seeing the animalistic. It's nothing like the story of Animal. Well, um, there is some aspects of it yeah, that I think are aspects, comparable. But it, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, so the uh, the 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 action of it and the violence were absolutely fantastic, fantastic. off the charts. So satisfying. Um, I thought Dev did a very good job, <laughs> outside of I think what he struggles with, uh, and you saw it in Slumdog too. He struggles to hide his British accent sometimes. Oh, uh, I didn't see that last night. I yeah, he, he did in Slumdog too. Uh, well, that's understandable. That was really really find, early in his I, career. I've seen that a lot with British people. Yeah. If they have to do like if or Scottish, yeah. If they have to hide their accent with an accent that's not just plain American, right? They do that very well. Yeah. Um, but like if they have to like do a Southern accent or a Boston or Indian accent, uh, I'm guessing he had more of a. They, they said that he grew up in Gujarat, but then he was in Mumbai and mm -hmm. uh, he spoke very good English for. Um, uh, but uh, there was uh, occasional times. The only gripe that I have with his performance is that I same thing in Slumdog. I I saw I've heard his British accent interesting multiple times. Yeah, I, I never picked um, up on that. But that's not strictly just Dev Patel. Other than that, this is actually the uh, whatever the one that came out last year was called the Green Knight. The Green Knight. Yeah, fantastic film. Well, Watch it, please. Awesome. Um, um, one no, of my note to self. One of my absolute uh, favorites of last year, actually. Uh, much different film. Um, but it, uh, this film was a lot of fun, man. Oh, it was. Uh, there were points in this film where the action sequences were so satisfying in their brutality yeah. that the audience applauded. Yes. Um, I, and laughed. One and, of the other, oh. if I, if I was having another gripe is that it was fairly standard in its format of an action film in terms of this is where it's going. Train one, like. You know what I'm talking about. Just the plot Correct. points. Correct. Plot points. Obviously, it's done differently in India. I, you, I don't think I've ever seen an action film in Hollywood <laughs> that has full uh, Indian culture and uh, actors in, in, the, in the center of it like that here in America. No. Um, haven't, I, haven't seen that. But in terms of the format of the action film, yes, it is fairly formulaic. Uh, but the action scenes and are the peak. They are. Um, and, but uh, for me, like I said before, we'll, we'll talk some of the technicalities. Say, yeah, a lot more to say. We'll talk about technicalities. But the other thing that I'm really excited about and I'm rooting for him about because he said something really revealing, which doesn't surprise me. I think this guy wears his heart on his sleeve. He does in his cinema. Seems like it. Yeah. Um, he said it the, before the movie started. He talked about how personal this was for his and him. And part of it was he's always struggled his whole life to – question am am i british enough am i indian enough yeah and th the thing i love about this film asides from the artistic excellence is the fact that dev really is positioned and i'm i'm rooting so hard for this to do well this weekend um to really continue to do films and open up doors for the people that we've come to appreciate and love in indian cinema who really want to work here as well and don't have open door Guys, you'd be surprised. 
how many legends and potential future legends in Indian cinema have a hard time breaking through here because of just not being known. Yep. And so the more things that can platform the greatness of artists, which there's many in this thing, uh, I'm hoping that's one of the things that comes out of this film too. Yeah. Um, another, uh, in terms of the performances, um, Dev obviously is the, the main lead in this, but there's a, a bunch of supporting actors and I'm gr so happy um, that he reached into India to um, get a lot of his supporting actors. Yep. Um, I didn't recognize all of them, so I don't know if they were all from India or if he kind of handpicked some from Hollywood, some from... There's three we know for... Well, four we yeah. know for sure that are yeah. very much in the uh, Indian industry. Yeah, but uh, Sorbita, you saw that in the trailer. You saw her in, in the it. trailer. She was there. No got, spoilers yet. Yeah, we'll no, give no. you some spoilers uh, in a second if they got, were in the trailer. We got to speak to her for a little bit. And we was, did. It was wonderful. And bless Not her heart. Wise. No, we just got to talk to her at the after party, and oh my goodness, I could tell she was doing her utmost best. I could tell she was pretty tired. Oh, yeah. she, she had just arrived, and she's turning right back around to go back to India, so yeah bless her. she was she was doing her utmost she did a fantastic job i um she's she had, she, she's supporting yes um, and spends a lot of the time just emanating her presence and obviously you know from indian cinema she has a great screen presence beautiful presence um, from what we've seen ps1 ps2 um in a maiden heaven made in heaven and um uh what was the last thing we saw her in i forget and really got the chance that was something i was happy we got to tell her was one we've appreciated her work that anytime we see her in something, we're excited for it and really hope this opens up doors for her. Yeah. Uh, the doors are already open for her in India, but she deserves to work in, where she in, wants to. Yeah. Where she wants to. Yes. Uh, you also had uh, a, a more substantial cameo in Vipin uh, Sharma. Yep. Uh, who we also got to talk to in, yep. in, uh, at the after party. Uh, lovely, lovely. Really, guy. really he lovely. He did a guy. really, yeah. really good, uh, had a really good performance as always, as he does. Yep. Um, and and Sikinder Kaur is Sikinder obviously Kare. in the, the trailer. He was there. We just didn't get a chance to talk to him because one of the reasons we didn't get to talk to him or really talk to Dev was because the bar took too long. Yeah, the bar. Note to self, Universal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he he was great. And also, I love the fact that this movie showcased so much of Indian culture that obviously we are well accustomed to now in the 400 plus films that we've seen. But for people that have never, outside of maybe RRR now that they've seen, because a lot of Americans yeah. have seen RRR. Yeah. Um, and obviously, this is not Indian, this is... we know that. But the they, they get to see a lot of Indian culture that they've not seen before. Correct. Um, and, a, and a little shout out here. We got to talk to him as well, to uh, Charlton, Charlton Copley, who's the white actor in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were really happy that he was good. We told him, too. Well, yeah, he's... he's <laughs> He's a SAG actor. Yeah, he's a SAG actor here. He was unaware of, huh? Is he Australian or English? I believe he's Australian. Yeah, he may be Australian, but he's a SAG actor here. Oh. Yeah. Well, he actually could be South African. He said in the movie he was South Oh, that's African. true. He could I mean, be. North African. But he was unfamiliar. He's not familiar with Indian cinema. He was not aware of, uh, he only learned about some of these people as he started doing the film. But we told him, we said, yeah, it was really nice to watch. Yeah. We, usually we only get Mark Bennington. <laughs> but who yes. would have done, Mark could have done that role. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very well. Done it yeah. Um, there's so many Indian actors that I could have placed in this, and I don't know how many he reached out to, how many said yes, how many said no. Yeah. Um, but it, it's wonderful. Everybody was great. He, you got some really nice Indian actors. And they all did a great um, job. That They did a great job. Spoilers? The, the, no, no. Okay. Uh, the score also I thought was absolutely fantastic. Um, it wasn't, they they blended it a lot. Yep. There was some, a lot of hip hop, a lot of like yep. a Western music, but they've also, <laughs> no spoilers, but they blended it also very sure well did. with a lot of Indian culture, Indian uh, classical music influences. Another Indian rapper as well, I believe. Was yep. I don't know who Another it was. Another huge shout out that is equally as impressive as Dev's directing and the cinematography that was done by uh, Sharon Mayer. Uh, yeah. the, the, the whole editing team that worked with Dev. The, the editing team. Yeah, it was nice. Oh, my stars, because whatever Dev was visualizing on the day with the cinematographer, then the editing process, just this movie is so, the storytelling is so dependent on the cinematography and editing and does, it's really uniform and it's really interesting how much I felt that Dev with his cinematographer, Sharon, really understood 
how the dynamics of the cinematography and the editing are going to contribute to the pacing of the storytelling. Yeah. Hugely important with pacing, which I, we could get to in spoilers. Yeah. Um, so all those, it was a, a really, really fun film. Um, got what I wanted from the trailer yep. in the movie. And then some. A great action film um, that showcases oh. all of Indian cinema. Um, which is stuff that you know when we were looking at like animal well, this is why we talked about when we talked about animal even though it's a, that's a different story but we wanted to see the animalistic nature of it and we've seen that a few times with reality with reality yes and i think there's a new film coming up i think teaser drops tomorrow but it's called kill i think mm. it, it debuted in um santa monica we missed it, it sucks oh but it's supposed to be a really great action film produced by kieran johar mm. um but that's what I was expecting. Yeah, and I I want this to do so well that I've already reached out to Alexis, and I'm going to reach out to Micah. I want to go this weekend and give it some money and yeah. and be a part of the box office for the weekend for Dev and everybody, because uh, I I think it's that good, and I I'm really rooting for it. Yeah. Um. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Um. Hopefully, I don't know when if and if it will ever release in India. Um, but if it does, please go watch it. Yeah. It's it, absolutely fantastic. Um, and if it's in, in, if you're in the United States or anywhere else, please go see it. And one last thought before spoiler is about why you're probably, it's going to be a while. And if you get it, you won't get what we got. It's for two reasons. Yes. The violence is brutal. And so the censor board will probably want that to cut be up. cut up. Yeah. But there are very bold. Yeah. Direct parallels. Yeah that will the terminology that you've heard over and over again is it's going to hurt sensitivities <laughs> um if it's it, and i don't know how you could ever edit this thing or change it to make it any different because like i said at the outset dev has something to say yeah he does yeah um so yeah if you haven't watched it please go watch it and then come back spoiler uh, time yeah yeah i guess yeah yeah okay i i debate on it because i don't want anybody to i know i don't want i'm really I don't want people to watch it and then no well, at least some of the surprises in the film. Mm -hmm. We were, we're not. We won't give away. When Shah Rukh Khan showed up, the, sto the story. But you remember, for those of you who've been around Dad a while, did mention Shah Rukh Khan. He did mention Shah Rukh Khan. He loved and looked up he to did. in the beginning. But if you'll recall, our very first interview on this channel was with Astaji Zakir Hussein, and we asked him if he's ever done any acting before. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> It let's was, let's it, just say there's a training montage. It was absolutely fantastic. That's one of the best training montages you'll ever want to see. Yeah, it's. I, I would I would love to talk to Dev um, because I would love to know. Obviously, I'm sure he wanted. Oh, I guarantee actual Indian um, people from Indian culture and, and that kind of stuff. I'm sure, even if he he's um, a non like he grew he was born in Great Britain, in England. Right? Yeah, he was born in England. Um, but I'm assuming he still knew who Ustaji oh. was. I, oh, I promise that's who he thought of when he was writing the yeah, script. He was like, if we can get Ustaji. The tabla players got to be Ustaji Zakir uh, Hussein. Or if somebody influenced. I don't know. But it I had love, to be. I would love to talk to him about like I how know. much of, because uh, I'm sure you wanted to, how much um, was it a priority to, to show a yeah, bunch if, of Indian If culture. anybody with, I know Dev's schedule is going to be nuts right now. But even if we have to wait and do it later at some point, really would love to talk to dev yeah so if yeah. anybody who's part of universal production or even anybody we talked to last night can uh wing that around at his leisure we would be happy if yeah. he, we got the chance to talk to um, him. but yeah having all the um influx of different in parts of indian culture that he um incorporated into the film <sighs> making it also accessible to the western audiences right um and, you know, a bunch of people spoke, uh, not that not, I know people in India speak English, but that was predominantly the language that was spoken. Yeah. Because I'm assuming he didn't want the entire thing to be. No. <laughs> and in subtitles. And the subtitles were right. Yeah. If somebody said Marachod, it was subtitled motherfucker. <laughs> Which was nice. It was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, it was, it was really nice. Um, I felt the symbolism throughout. Yeah. Of the roots Again, cinematography and editing, the the constant throwback to the imagery of the storybook of Hanuman, yeah. uh, particularly in the climax, that wall. That wall was, yeah. Very that famous. was so great. Which is, I believe, a painting of the, uh, what is it called? 
Yeah. 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 Which Indrani had some points. We were talking in the car afterwards mm -hmm. that only an Indian would pick up. You yeah. and I would not. And she. Well, of course, but that's the point. You'd you'd be far more likely to pick on it than any American would read a Bible. But the the whole the whole relationship between Hanuman and and Ram and uh, all that symbolism. I knew it. Yeah, you need to watch that anime. It's really good. Yeah, uh, there's so I I I, I kind of watch along with Steph like a year ago. I feel like a lot of folks are coming in here who won't have seen the film and I'm, I'm trying not to give too many spoilers away. Yeah, that's, that's, I really don't want to, since it's so early, I, 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 really, I really don't, I don't want to give a lot away. It's bad enough that we told you about the Staji Zakir Hussein. Cause that was a, we all three of us went forward in our chairs. We saw him and we went, yeah. Yep. And he got up during the credits when his name came up, cause he was given special credit. It said, and a Staji Zakir Hussein. And the, the audience was, they knew. Yeah. How do you, how do you get that guy? Um, but yeah, I, the, the, the action was so good, um, and so brutal, um, because in the beginning, the guy introduced it, he's like, it's a beautiful film, it's a brutal film, and whenever somebody says that, I'm like, okay, you better, you better be, you better live up to yep. you saying that, because I'm expecting <sighs> so good, brutal, and it, it's so I, good, I don't squirm easily, but man, there was some stuff that I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so oh! good, there were at least five Things that happened to different fight sequences that made everybody howl, laugh, go, oh my, I kept, wow. I kept grabbing both of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I was in the front. Yep. So like, We're right on the front row. And she, she, she'd she reach out and she'd grab us. It was, I, I'm excited. I want to see it again and, and listen to the audience react to those moments. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, I hope it'll do well. But my biggest the thing I talked about with Andrani when we left was aside from all of those things, the really phenomenal performances of everybody, the direction, the cinematography, the editing, the score, you name it, right? The surprises. Yeah. Um, uh, Harry Belafonte, I quote him quite often because he has one of my favorite quotes when he spoke at the uh, March on Washington with Martin Luther King. Uh -huh. And he said that artists have a, re a really incredible responsibility because artists reflect back to society who they are yeah and that i would love to talk to dev about because it's so very bold in his communicating and showing of stuff that he clearly has a strong feeling about regarding india yeah and not just his own personal roots but about india as a whole yeah um things he says that are directly related yeah. to politics yeah things that have happened in recent history of uh certain people groups being persecuted yeah and I, I that's that's one of the things if we don't get to talk to him i'm looking for interviews where i can hear what he's sharing about that because that was so you can't get around that that's why i'm wondering how the heck i don't know you can't you can't get around that i have no idea you destroy the film yeah I don't know. So it would be interesting to see what's going to happen. I don't know if it'll ever get released in India. Me too. Or I don't what version they will see. When I think it, they'll when it see comes. it on OTT. Sadly, hopefully. But it it it, it deserves. That's the challenge, guys, and it sucks because you really there shouldn't be a censor board telling a film artist what they can and can't do. Yeah. Rating system to warn everybody so that you know not to bring your kids. You shouldn't bring your it kids to this. Definitely be R. Uh, it's an R film. <laughs> It's an R film for subject matter and violence and some nudity and uh, it's an adult movie. But you, you, no government should tell an artist what they can or can't say. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's that's about it. I don't I really don't want to. Get yeah, into, me too. I don't really get, want to get into a lot of spoilers um, because it's so early and a lot of people, most yeah. people haven't seen it yet. And yeah. So yeah. I would love, and it, who knows when it's going to come out in India? So, exactly. Um, and I want people to go see it this weekend. So if you have it here, if you're a stupid baby here in the U.S. or the U.K. or Australia uh, or anywhere else where this is getting international distribution, go give it some love. You'll have a good time. Yeah, you'll have a great time. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, let us know what you thought about the movie. And uh, and if you – other stuff. Let us know down below. <laughs>